In order to answer this question, let us first understand what is meant by amniocentesis. In the process of amniocentesis, 1 to 2 microliters of the amniotic fluid is taken out. This fluid contains fetal cells and proteins. So, fetal cells can be used to study if there is any abnormality in the fetus or even the proteins can also be used. These uh, fetal cells, they are cultured and karyotyped. In karyotyping, the chromosomes are stained and arranged in a proper order. In this particular karyotype, instead of a pair of 21st chromosome, we are seeing 3, 1, 2 and 3. This is called trisomy of 21st chromosome which results into Down syndrome. This is very clearly visible in a karyotype. In case of this particular karyotype, instead of normal 1X, there are 2X chromosomes which are visible. So, the condition becomes X, X and Y which is known as Klenfelter syndrome which also can be easily detected seeing the karyotype. In this third karyotype, we clearly see X chromosome and a Y chromosome. That means the individual has one X and one Y. That means sex of this individual would be male. Had there been two X chromosomes, then the fetus would have been a female. So, sex of the individual can also be determined. Let us see the question. Here, our question says what cannot be detected? Down syndrome, that is trisomy of 21st, can be detected by seeing the karyotype. Glenn Felters, that is XXY also, and sex of the fetus, that is XX or XY. The only condition which cannot be detected from this is jaundice. So, our correct answer would be option B.